The Parsha Podcast. Episode Melech Basada, The King Comes to Failed. I wonder what it feels like to have a king, a real king, with a jeweled crown and a satin cloak. I know it's not as exotic, but we do have a president who wears suits and ties. I'm guessing you're thinking about the Alter Rebbe's Moshe of Melech Basada, the king in the field, right? What king? What field? Ooh, I know that muscle. The king lives in his glamorous palace with all of his guards. And it's almost impossible to arrange an appointment with him. Right! Then he goes out into the field where anybody can meet him. He greets his people with a big smile and listens to their requests. If only we had a human king, we would be able to understand Hashem even better. Yesterday, Tati was listening to a podcast, and the host decided to call up a chassid who had been at the Rebbe's Fabrengans. Huh? What are you talking about? Well, what if we could have a podcast too, and call up someone who has seen a king with their own eyes? Yeah, let's make a podcast, and share it with all our friends, so they could share it with their friends. It'll be amazing! I'll get the family phone. Yossi! You can record it on that little recording device you won at school. But who are we calling? Oh, I know just the person. I read about her in a book. I'll make the call. Wait, can you call someone who lives in another time and place? Call going through. What's taking so long? Oh, you didn't tell me she lived 600 years ago. Well, it worked. Guest, Sarah, age 10, from the Kingdom of Field. Hobby, tree climbing. Hello? Hello, Sarah from Field. This is the Loving Kids Podcast. Can you please tell us about the time you saw the king? Oh, um, hi, Loving Kids. Well, yeah, where do I begin? Seeing the king was the most exciting day of my life. I'm sure it was. How did you know the king was coming? Did you get an invitation? Well, I was sitting at the top of a tree in my family's strawberry field when I suddenly heard music and saw people running out of the houses. That's when I noticed writing in the sky. It said, Barak Haba, King Sovereign. I scrambled down from the tree and ran home. Why home? Well, I wanted to look presentable. My sister Rufka quickly braided my hair and dusted off my skirt. I was so excited. I love the king. But I was scared too. When I got to the king, he had such a big smile. His face was glowing and he listened to everyone's requests, including mine. Wow, that must have been an incredible experience. The most powerful man in your whole entire country took the time to meet you. It sure was. Thank you, Sarah, for telling us all about seeing your king. Basia, we have the exact same opportunity during Elul, but even better. We can ask Hashem anything. Like King Surain, Hashem is listening to us and smiling. Well, if Hashem, who is the king of the whole world, wants to listen to me, then you'd better believe I'm going to run to him. I'm going to request that Hashem helps me concentrate when I daven and ask Hashem for Mashiach now. I'm going to ask him to help me become the best soldier in his army. Fellow Chayalim, we hope you enjoyed our podcast. And now, we have a question for you. What will you ask Hashem for now that he's in the field? And that's the end of the first fabulous episode of the Parsha podcast. Be sure to think the question over. See you all Chayolim next week.